Here's what I want to ask you about all of this, Mike. I've previously interviewed two individuals, one named Carter Page, one named Roger Stone. During the interviews, they said they did not believe they were going to be charged ever. And of course, they ultimately were. Is your expectation at this point in time that you are going to be criminally charged? No, that's not what they're looking into. They're looking into somebody else. Somebody else. I even asked them about January 6th. I said, yep. is this involving January 6th? And they said no. And I said, well, why don't you bring me there? Because I've offered to go there, even though I wasn't there on January 6th, to show them all this evidence that I can now show. Okay. And um, um, no, absolutely not. That's not what this is about. They want stuff in there about a th about a case in Colorado okay. that this this co county clerk named Tina Peters yes. uh, went in and did her job. I didn't know her back then, so this has nothing to do. This is like the cyber symposium going forward, and uh, they're just looking into the phone records. By the way, which uh, they could have got. I say, here you go. I have nothing to hide. I'm as transparent as they come, David. On the issue of Tina Peters, there have been allegations I've read that at one point you were essentially helping her hide out to evade justice. Is that true? They uh they in in after the cyber symposium she I didn't I didn't fly her there but she made it to her lawyers took her to Texas uh -huh. um and when you say I'm hiding her out no I didn't I didn't hide her out she you weren't involved in getting her to Texas she wasn't at no, a property you own you weren't paying for a hotel not, room or no anything communication there whatsoever I've got sure. the name of that lawsuit if you want please. Um, um, no, that's not that's not the Nevada one. The Nevada lawsuit is Montgomery versus E. Trepid and case number three zero six. But we're looking for the Supreme Court case yeah, you mentioned, right? I want the Supreme Court one, Caitlin. The that, Supreme uh, Court. Okay, we'll get Supreme back to Court that. Supreme Court that 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 is like the Supreme Court for the for the um, election laws. Okay. Okay. We'll get that Supreme Court case. Yeah. I want to go back to just one more detail of the FBI thing, then we'll move on to the machines and everything else. Right. Uh, yeah. You just mentioned a few minutes ago. You said to the FBI agents, I'd rather go to jail than give up my phone. You no, no, no. What I, and what I was wanting, because I knew I hadn't, I've never done, I haven't done anything wrong. No, so I get that, Mike. My, but David, here's yeah. my whole reasoning. Okay. The way we're at in our country right now, ever to get rid of these machines, I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican, yep. the biggest problem we have is lawfare, where Fox News, Newsmax, Salem Media, none of these guys talk. The only one that ever talks about it is people like you or Jimmy Kimmel, and I'm glad they come on your show, where I can actually say, yeah. speak out. These guys, they and you, they've never said one thing. Even 2,000 Meals, Newsmax and Fox will not let them on because of lawfare. Okay. So I thought, gee, maybe this would be big enough news where well, they would put it on Fox. And they did. Okay. By the way, they did. My question, though, was just going to be, you know that when you get arrested, they take all your stuff. So, like, you would have had to give up the phone anyway, right? You know that. But but I would but Fox and Newsmax would have maybe started reporting about the biggest gorilla that we have to get rid of these electronic. Voting I see. Machines. If you had gotten That's us arrested, goal, it would have gotten money. publicity. It's not overturning elections. It's getting rid of these machines and having paper ballots hand counted like so many other countries do. The Netherlands, France, Germany, instead, of these other countries that are gone forever, like Venezuela, Australia. Yeah. They don't get to ever have elections again. They're selections. And this has been proven out there. It's been proven over and over again with these machine companies, but nobody will talk about it because of what Smartmatic did February 4th of 2021 when they sued Fox News. Okay.